If you are looking to build strength and definition in your inner and outer thighs, you are in the right place. We have a 10 minute finishers workout that is gonna help you do just that. This is actually a no equipment workout. However, if you want to add a little bit of extra intensity into this workout, there are a few things you can have ready for our workout. One is going to be a moderately heavy set of dumbbells or one dumbbell for a sumo squat, which is gonna be our first exercise. Also today, if you have it, get your ankle weights. You can start putting those on now. We'll just leave those on for this 10 minutes. And a booty band or a mini resistance band. We'll use those for some of the exercises towards the end. We have got a total of eight exercises today, 50 seconds of work with 20 seconds of a rest. So we're gonna get right into our first exercise, that sumo squat. So grab your dumbbells if you're using that, add your ankle weights, and let's do this. All right, getting into position for that sumo squat. Legs out, toes out, shoulders rolled down and back. If you've got your dumbbell, one in the center or two on either side of your legs, we go here in three, two, and one. Here we go. Push through the heels as you press up. Keep that chest up, head is up. And because we are targeting the thighs today, when you are down in this sumo squat and you press back up, think about squeezing your inner thighs together. I like to think about almost as I'm zippering up my inner thighs. So you really think about bringing those thighs together. Obviously you're not going to because our feet are planted, but you can feel those inner thighs activate even more when you think about that muscle working. So because we've got 10 minutes, we're gonna make it count. I'm gonna add some little reminders into you here and there to really help you stay focused on the inner and outer thighs today. Whew. Almost there. Here's three, two, and one. We're gonna meet on the mat now. No more dumbbell. We are done with the dumbbell. Really targeting inner thighs. So laying on one side, top leg is gonna come over. Foot is flexed. We're gonna lift and lower, isolating that inner thigh now. We go in three, two, and one. Here we go. Lift, squeeze, and down. Hold it for a second at the top. Really feel that muscle working right here. Squeeze and down. Exhale as you lift. Good. Whew. Breathing well over halfway. that tight. Come on, hold it up. I know it's getting tighter. You got it. Oh my word. Here's three, two, and one. We're going to switch it over. 20 seconds. Switch it right over to the other side. Oh. Now, if you do not have ankle weights, by the way, highly recommend them. They are such a good little addition to these kind of moves. Oh. All right. We're going to do the other side here in three. Here's two, and one, let's lift, keep that foot flexed. Lift and lower. Really gonna be isolating the inner and outer thighs to help strengthen those muscles, which is gonna tighten them up and give you some of that shape in your leg or legs because we're working both sides. <laughs> I do have to mention though, you can't Spot reduce, okay? Now, even though we are tightening the muscles, we're strengthening them, we cannot just target the thighs to burn fat in that one area. That comes with full body workouts, that comes with different exercises, or um, not, not necessarily different exercises, but consistent training and diet. So, just FYI, I wanted to put that out there. Here's three, two, and one. Good, we're gonna switch it over now. Onto our backs, we're gonna do a single leg glute bridge with an abduction. So this is actually the one where if you wanna add your booty band or mini resistance band, you are gonna add that right above your knees. So we're gonna lift it up and then we're gonna take that leg out. Going in three, two, and one. Here we go, lift it up, hold it, take that leg out, back center, and down. Good, lift, squeeze, take that leg out, back. Working the core here as well because we've got that balance coming into play with this single leg. 
work that we've got. <laughs> Good, down. Woo. Almost there. 10 seconds. Good, here's three, two, and one. Oh, you can feel that in the inner and outer thighs. Oh my word. We're gonna switch it over. So other leg is gonna come up. Bring that leg up. We're gonna start with the lift, then out, back center in three, two, and one. Here we go, lift it up, take that leg out, back in, control it down. Take that leg right out to the side. Don't let it fall down to the ground. Don't lift it too high up. Trying to keep it right in line with that knee. And back in. Good. Almost there. Here we are, three, two, and a one. Awesome. Next exercise, we are gonna hold it up in glute bridge. We are just going to do that abduction. Both legs are gonna go out, back in. Out and back in. All right, let's lift those hips up, get into position. Weight stays in the heels. Press out on those knees and back in. Now, if you don't have any equipment, if you don't have a booty band, you can give yourself a little bit of resistance here just with your hands pressing on the outside of your leg here. Good, and back. Press out. Keep those hips up. Squeeze the glutes. Good, and back. Almost there. After this, we're gonna take it to standing. We have two exercises to go after this. Here's three, two, and last one. Bring it down. You can keep the ankle weights on, keep the band on for these last two exercises. This first exercise, we're gonna do a squat to an alternating leg lift. Lateral leg lift, I should say. Here's three, two, and one. Squat it down and lift. Other side now, squat down, lift that other side. Whew, good, down and squeeze. Over halfway. Keep that chest up. Almost there. Down. Whew. Here's three, two, and one. Awesome. Final exercise. We are gonna burn it out. Thighs are gonna be feeling so Good, we are gonna keep it in a low, low squat, and we're gonna travel two lateral and then two the other way. Going here in three, two, and one. So lateral walk for two, keep it in that low squat, and then back for two. Over for two, good. Keep it low. that chest up. You got it. 30 left. Can you sink it just the tiniest bit lower? Come on, we showed up for 10 seconds. Let's make every second count. You added the finisher today. Come on. We got it. Awesome, 10 out. Keep it low. 
Oh, the stretch is gonna feel so good after this. Here's three, two, and one. Oh my word, you deserve dessert. Go grab that stretch, I love you so much. Thanks for joining me. I'll see you at the stretch and I love you.